we have an Atlas 2.2 update. I'm going to talk you through the features. Firstly, we have the map filters area over on the right. We can expand and contract this by clicking on the title, or we can click and drag to resize it. We have three sections here, and they allow us to specify what samples are displayed. So I've just expanded the categories area here, and you'll see we have a group of categories. I can click on one of these, like kick, and we're only going to see the kicks. I could choose clap, and now we're only looking at the claps. If I hold down control, we can choose multiple. So let's go kick, clap, and hi-hat open. If I want to select all of them, I can click on all. If I want to select none, I click on none. And we can click on the red X if we want to clear everything. Next is the folder tree. This allows us to just show samples within a certain folder path. So you'll see here is where my map is referencing all its samples. And I can turn some of these off. So as I turn off these certain folders, we start getting less samples shown. So now we're only seeing samples from the folders that are currently selected. We can select all and we can select none as well. Finally, we have the keyword search. This allows us to type in a particular keyword. This can come in handy if you're looking for samples that don't really stick to these categories. For example, let's say I want click. I'll hit enter and you'll see these are all the samples that are click sounding. Let's try one more. Let's try pluck. And you'll see these are all the samples that come up as a pluck. We can use all three of these map filter systems to really fine tune our results. For example, let's say I just want claps, but I only want them to come from the samples folder here. So here's the results, but I also only want clap samples that have the keyword click. You'll see now we have a really small selection and we've fine tuned the results right down. Clicking on the new kit button also pays attention to what's selected in the map filters area. So if I was to click new kit with nothing in the map filters, we just get 16 new drum sounds. But if I choose kick and let's say snare, and now I go new kit, you'll see only the kick and the snare samples are being updated. The hover toggle button also respects what we currently have displayed with the map filters. If I was to turn this on and drag around, you'll see that when we hover over the greys, nothing plays. But when we hover over the coloured samples, we get sound. The next new feature is the list mode. So we traditionally had the earth mode and the galaxy mode for displaying our map. Now we have list mode. This will give us a complete list of all of our samples in a nice, easy to read format. We can sort these by clicking on the title. So I can sort them by name, category, or folder. We can also use the list mode with the map filters. So for example, let's go snap, hit enter, and now we have a list of all our samples that contain snap. Finally, we have a few additional small features, so we can start and stop using the spacebar. We can now solo multiple drum pads by holding down control and right clicking. We can change increments of the parameters by using the arrow key. Or we can simply type to set it to a fixed value. <laughs> 